This video will calculate uh, some facts about light given the wavelength. We'll calculate the frequency and we'll calculate the energy of a single photon. To uh, do these calculations, we'll make use of the sort of modified relationship that uh, the speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. So I've solved this for frequency dividing both sides by wavelength. So speed of light, which is a given constant, divided by wavelength. And then energy is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency of the light. So here's Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds for its units. And our first uh, <clears throat> light is ultraviolet, just uh, shorter than the violet is ultraviolet and out of the range of uh, human visibility, but uh, important for sunburns and such. So we have a wavelength 290 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. The power is minus 9. Hope that's clear enough for you to, uh, to see that. <clears throat> so first we want to calculate the frequency. So the frequency is the speed of light divided by wavelength. So 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And dividing by the wavelength, <clears throat> 290 nanometers. I need to keep the meters units here, so I keep the power of 10. And the meters will cancel off. We'll get, as we should, 1 over seconds for the units. You should check this on your own calculator. but. 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 290 times 10 to the minus 9. I came up with 1.03 times 10 to the 15th hertz. 1 over seconds is called the hertz unit. So now that we have the frequency, we move on to calculate the energy. The energy is Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules seconds multiplied by the frequency, 1.03 times 10 to the 15th. And instead of writing hertz, I'm going to write 1 over seconds. And we can see that the seconds units cancel off. Again, you should use your own calculator. But I came up with 4.28 um, electron volts. I skipped a step on you. Sorry about that. This, If we multiply this out, we get 6.85 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, 6.85 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And there's a conversion factor that uh, says that one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, roughly. So uh, you should do this step by step. You multiply these two numbers, you'll get 6.85 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Divide that by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules brings you to the electron volt unit that's a little bit more useful for uh, talking about visible and ultraviolet light and talking about atomic energy levels. Let's move on to uh, yellow light. For yellow light, we have a different wavelength. We're going to be using the same formulas. Frequency is speed of light divided by wavelength. So frequency is... 3 times 10 to the 8th. I'm not going to bother with the units. We've already seen that they're appropriate. Divide by 580 times 10 to the minus 9. And I get a frequency this time of 5.17 times 10 to the 14th hertz. 5.17 times 10 to the 14th hertz. And the energy is Planck's constant. Multiplied by the frequency, 5.17 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Again, hertz I'm replacing with 1 over seconds. So we see the seconds units cancel. And in terms of joules, 3.43 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Then multiply by the conversion factor that one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So the joules units cancel, and I get 2.14 electron volts. 
this should not be a surprise is uh, that I have half the energy. If you notice here, this wavelength is twice the original wavelength. The wavelength of the yellow light is twice as big as the wavelength of ultraviolet light. And I didn't point it out for the frequency, but what has happened is the frequency is two times smaller here. If we uh, divide these numbers roughly two times smaller. And then the frequency being two times smaller, the energy is two times smaller. So there we have it. Uh, easily calculate frequency and energy given wavelength. The frequency is speed of light divided by wavelength. Energy is Planck's constant multiplied by the frequency. And uh, if you have questions on that, perhaps you should uh, just visit with your instructor briefly about that. And keep watching uh, videos and reading your textbook.